Shahid is, you know, such a good actor that he, he just he just took to it like that. Though, I mean, we, uh, I don't know when was the last time we saw him, saw him do uh, comedy, uh, but but yeah, he's a great actor, and great actors, all of them without exception, have uh, good comedic timing. It literally happened on the day of shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we were <laughs> we were we were shooting uh, at uh, in town uh, where the task office is. Uh, in fact, one parallel lane next to the task office, and um, Raj happened to see that lane and was filled with all these fond memories of uh, Family Man. And at that point, <laughs> said, "Why don't we let? Why don't we just go in front of task office and let Michael walk past?" <laughs> <laughs> and then he started calling everybody from Family Man who's available. <laughs> so Sharif said, "Oh no, I'm not available. I'm so sorry. I'm not in town." And then somebody else was available. Two people were two people left everything, came running, and <laughs> shot in that shot. Farzi one took like took us two years. So <laughs> figure the math. <laughs> But of course, yeah. I mean, jokes apart, I mean, of course, there there, there will be a season two. Uh, I mean, uh, logically speaking, of course, there will be a season two. Yes. Hi, this is Srijita Sen from New Day Kim Shosha, and today I have with me the writers of Kalji, Suman Kumar and Sita Menon. So, hi, Suman. Hi, Sita. How are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. First of all, congratulations on this amazing response that the show has been receiving. I watched it last week and I loved it absolutely. So first of all, many many congratulations to you guys for the success of the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so was this response anticipated? Absolutely not. <laughs> we had no idea. We had yeah. no idea what we were sending out. <laughs> I you hadn't. I, I speak for myself. Were. No, no, you're right. You know how nervous I was. I was. I was. I was telling Raj like, no, oh my god, oh my god. I was a nervous wreck. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure even Raj yeah. was too. DK, I don't know because DK, I think. Uh... D- D- yeah, DK is zen about these things. No, yeah. no, to no, not not to be facetious. We were all uh, quite nervous because we didn't know how it would be received. It's such a it's such a different subject. Uh, it's not your usual. It's not something that people really have seen too much of. So hence, hence the nervousness. All of us were really, really wondering how it will even be received. And uh, how overwhelmed are you guys right now, someone? Overwhelmed? Uh, yeah, the love that we have been receiving it's it's uh, definitely overwhelming in a positive way. But you know how it is, right? People are already asking about season two, right? <laughs> so we're already there. Like now that the uh, the baby is out, uh, we got we got lots of lots and lots of love, uh, and it's always a great feeling. Uh, obviously, it's a great feeling. And but uh, uh, like we like I said, we're already our sights are set on the next thing. In fact, Sita is in the midst of it, and we are looking at season two. And, you know, yeah. season three, so so many things, so many other babies to come. So, <laughs> and with this series, we also after a long time we got to see the comedy comedy actor in Shahid Kapoor. I mean, obviously his character turns dark towards the end, but we also got to see what a great comic timing he has. It's a very refreshing thing to see. So, was Shahid always the obvious choice for for Sunny? So, uh, this. Concept actually had started off as a feature long ago, and at that point, Shahid had expressed interest, and uh, and then you know how we, with many many Bollywood uh, projects, Hindi projects, we talk a lot, and then sometimes things don't go off very well, or just peter off. And uh, when lockdown happened. Um, I believe Shahid was talking with Rajan DK and then asked about this project and said, let's just go ahead and make this. Um, He'd been thinking about it. And um, at that point, all of us said, let's not make it a feature. Let's make it a series. 
because there's so much to write. There's so much to explore in this world. A feature would just would not have done justice to this subject. So, yeah. And, and actually all four of us, we write with um, a lot of uh, humor, inherent humor. Uh, Shahid just walked into that part very naturally. No, I just want to add to what Sita said. I mean, all great actors uh, have uh, you know great uh, comedic timing. If you observe, you'll know that you know all of them. Like I can can take any great actor. Everybody, like for example, after uh, Biku Matre Satya, Family Man was when you actually saw Manoj Bajpayee doing being funny, doing a comedy, and that's no surprise. Same with Shahid. Shahid is, you know, such a good actor that he, he just he just took to it like that. Though, I mean, we, uh, I don't know when was the last time we saw him, saw him do uh, comedy, uh, but but yeah, he's a great actor, and great actors, all of them without exception, have uh, good comedic timing. So, Suman, on the other hand, we also had Mike, the whole thing going on between Michael and Gillon. They kind of had their own show going, a parallel show going on those two characters. And that their uh, scenes, their interaction is actually one of the highlights of the show. So, you know, uh, did the uh, image of the actor, especially Vijay Setupati, did that determine the kind of lines you were writing or the kind of scenes that were set up for those two characters? Was the image of the actor a major no, part? Not really, no. Because we didn't even know that uh, we, when we wrote the feature, for example, when we wrote the feature, I think that I remember the first draft we churned out was in 2012. In 2012, when we wrote it, I mean, there was the, the core of it existed even then. So at that time, we didn't even have an actor in mind and we were like just, you know, writing, uh, you know, for the character, for the narrator. And then when Vijay Sidhavari comes on board, when, a, you know, uh, Zakir uh, came on board and suddenly that chemistry, it only elevates, uh, you know, what you've already written. Uh, and you know what they say about screenplay. Screenplay is nothing but an invitation for other artists to come and perform. And sometimes you have an actor in mind and you write for that. That also happens. But in this case, that was not the case. Yeah. So when we wrote it, um, there was no, uh, for example, a fun fact. Uh, the character of Michael wasn't really Michael. He was named something else. He Correct. was uh, he was not, not even South Indian. He was someone from anywhere in India. Um, but when Vijay came into the picture, uh, we tweaked it. Uh, he brought in his own... Um, his own Hindi. He, he's created a whole new Hindi lexicon with Farzi. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So that's that's how Michael and Vijay came into being. Correct. And you know, Sita, you have been working with Raj and DK for a long time now. So, what would you say is the best thing about working with them, and how has the bond evolved over these years? Best thing. Okay. Uh, so the three of us started off as friends. So we are friends first, uh, and, and that goes for Suman as well, actually. Um, we all go back a long way. And um, be, and they are the ones, Raj and DK are the ones who actually, I had no plans to get into film. I had nothing to do with film uh, or film writing. But they, they pulled me into this world. Uh, I was straddling two worlds. I had one foot in my day job, which was being a journalist, one foot in films, writing for film. And I did that for about 10 years and uh, then finally plunged fully into film writing uh, or screenwriting now, as we call it. Um, the best thing about working with Rajin DK is that I know how I was groomed by them. So in, in, in the world of screenwriting. So I know what they like. I know how they think. To a large extent, I'm my thoughts and the way I think as well has been shaped by that, but naturally. But um, uh, it took me a long time to evolve into my own person. Um, and I'm happy that that voice is also being recognized. Um, and that's the freedom I get with Raj and DK. And I'm sure someone would also agree with that. They're, they're extremely... Um, open to ideas, open to uh, all kinds of mad ideas, and the and the more and the more different those ideas are, the more they're welcome. 
um of course all of it is worked on and worked on and reworked on like a million times but uh, but that's just the fun of writing and you know like after rohit shetty's cop universe yrf spy universe we finally have raj and dk spy universe and <laughs> the family man season 3 is also coming up so suman uh, how much uh, farzi cameo can we expect in uh, family man season 3 and is there a possibility of uh, shrikant and michael coming together on screen to solve a case it would be criminally irresponsible of me to uh, you know uh, give an answer to that question so <laughs> i can i can only say we'll wait and we'll we'll watch i'm 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 uh, contractually bound not to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> not even a hint i don't think i, I think it's it, it, it would uh, whether it happens or not uh, let's say but but i don't think we should Uh, you know, let the cat out of the bag now. If at all there is a cat in the bag, I mean, of course, there is. Of course. <laughs> no, but the fans are like talking about it online. So you know, uh, something like this happening would it, there's a huge chance because we had Family Man references in Parsi as well. So, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> so no, the thing the thing is even in you know in Parsi it was like 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 Sita Man. It was a wild idea. We were like thinking and suddenly like. Uh, you know this uh one idea became to uh, you know it, it suddenly you know that we just said okay it'd be fun mm. uh, me as far as i know like uh, see uh, creating a multiverse is not a joke uh, number one it's on a serious note now it it, it, it takes a uh, i mean it's a different kind of a beast uh, so without going too much into detail i can we just wanted to it's a fun thing like i know my friends have sent me videos of you know their girlfriends or their uh, partners shrieking with delight when they uh, you know heard shrikant devi tiwari's voice or when they saw chellam sir you know i have videos of them saying oh my god you know i i've seen i've seen so i and that is it. and i think in that it has served its purpose like it, it yeah. gave them like you know an unexpected uh, what do you say a gift it's like uh, it's like you order something uh or from swiggy or whatever zomato whatever and suddenly like they they send you something free a free cookie or something it's like that <laughs> <laughs> you are like thrilled it's titillating and it's it's like you know exciting uh, at once so yeah and it served its purpose so now uh, and i'm not at a level, i don't want to uh, you know further pontificate or even uh, you know speculate on how it is whether it will be follow through whether we will follow through with will with that or not because everything depends on um uh, what the final uh, you know narrative of season 3 is going to be so so the decision of uh, basing uh, family man and forzy in the same universe and having uh, shrikant and chellam sir's references in the so it happened along the way and it was not pre planned right no it wasn't yeah it okay. literally happened on the day of shoot <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> we were <laughs> we were we were shooting uh, at uh, in town uh, where the task office is. Uh, in fact, one parallel lane next to the task office, and um, Raj happened to see that lane and was filled with all these fond memories of uh, Family Man. And at that point, <laughs> said, "Why don't we let? Why don't we just go in front of task office and let Michael walk past?" <laughs> 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 and then he started calling everybody from family man who's available <laughs> so sharif said oh no i'm not available i'm so sorry i'm not in town and then somebody else was available two people were two people left everything came running and <laughs> shot in that shot wow that's great so i guess unplanned things turn out to be the best it that, turned out uh, to be really yeah well, <laughs> so again you know uh, a lot of people are also comparing the plot lines or the characters of farzi with say breaking bad you know how the story progresses or how the characters uh, develop so what would you say about those comparisons what what do you think uh, i mean so obviously breaking bad and farzi are not same but i think there are parallels obviously you know like uh, if you consider the artist to be walter and feroz to be jesse and gus to be uh, kk menon's character hmm. by that logic 1942 a love story and uh, uh, 
take any other love story it's the same right will you say it's a copy yeah. will you say it was inspired by it i mean see uh, first of all uh, uh, you can say that uh, i mean uh, uh, you can say that about any any story right because there are only seven kinds of stories in the world i mean voyage vendetta romance tragedy i mean i don't know all seven i cannot recall but there are only seven kinds of stories you cannot go beyond that so i mean well uh, anybody is uh, uh, you know they have they are free to form their opinion about hey this is like that this is like that but the proof is there you, you just have to watch the series to know that uh, uh, yeah is it a thriller uh, yeah it's a thriller so thereby uh, that's not how uh, and thrillers whether it's whether it's a thriller or it's a rom com you know things have uh, you know a funny way of the same motifs repeating same themes repeating so uh, uh, so if, if i really i i think it's a very uh, what do you say uh, very perfunctory you know a debate to have uh, this genre is uh, there are, there are you know it, it, there is a there is a there are these templates for these genre storytelling templates while we are not adhering to a template for example um breaking bad was set around meth and that whole world ours is set around counterfeiting and when you when you have these strange unexplored worlds uh there are you will find yourself uh running the gamut of a the counterfeiter the counterfeiter's friend the kingpin the politician the press you will run across the entire uh, you know that entire ecosystem and you will have parallels all across in this sort of genre so i don't know if that answers your question but i see a lot of farzi can have parallels with many many other uh, stories as well in that sense absolutely yeah that makes sense so uh, like uh, what update can you give us about fuzzy 2 that you are allowed to say <laughs> uh it's a good idea it's a good idea it's a long <laughs> way to <laughs> wait of course it is a good idea i mean you guys left us on a cliffhanger so we are not letting you go without a season 2 No, no, it will come. It will come <laughs> in due course. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm channeling my inner stand-up comic. So <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't been even a week that the season one release and people are already demanding. I know. <laughs> exactly. That's the answer. That's the answer. <laughs> so why? Means- Farzi first. Uh, Farzi one took like took us two years. So. <laughs> figure the math <laughs> <laughs> but of course yeah i mean a joke apart i mean of course there will there, there will be a season 2 uh, i mean uh, logically speaking of course there will be a season 2 yes and we are we more, have to wait know, for four years for that did the <laughs> not really <laughs> but uh, not so long <laughs> maybe <laughs> Maybe no, sooner. Maybe. It it is being planned. Uh, although, yeah, it will take a while. <laughs> oh, these are questions we 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 cannot like no. Uh, uh, I mean, as uh, uh, Sita and I cannot really. Uh, there is, of course, there is this uh, Rajan Dikhe, the who are the, also happened to be the producers. Like you know, the two of us, they are uh, they produced it and also directed it. And then, of course, uh, Amazon. Uh, they have to come together and they so so we uh, stay out we are uh, artists we stay <laughs> 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 yeah so that's okay. that's a question okay. maybe for rajin dikhe okay. uh, when when is it coming all maybe and and for amazon or not 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 to us uh, what are the things so, you have lined up for us upcoming projects so oh, upcoming projects um so right now uh, we are in the middle of production for citadel india um uh, i'm not sure you're aware of it but uh, it's the it's a global uh, spy verse created by the russo brothers that's one um of course there's farzi too <laughs> um 
and then uh, personally there's a feature film coming up um which is entirely not related to spies or action or drama or thrillers <laughs> so <laughs> that is that and yeah a, a few more that yeah we can i can't talk about yet so <laughs> Yeah, same. Uh, uh, Farzi, Guns and Gulabs. Guns and Gulabs has not even come yet. Let's not talk about it. I mean, uh, Family Man Season 3, number one. After that, uh, uh, you know, we have uh, Farzi. Uh, those two things are for sure. And I'm shooting my film. I'm, my de- directorial debut in Tamil. I just finished shooting one schedule. I'm between schedules. Um, and... Uh, one more feature film uh, for why not studios which have been working for like more than an uh, eight years it finally are going to the floor so that final final you know handover of script is happening so that will that's there so a lot the of best. exciting things Thank coming you. up yeah all the best for your individual projects as, as well as Farzi and Family Man. And it was great talking to you guys. I would have talked more about Farzi if we had the time, but some other day, hopefully. Sure. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.